I define our brand as a New Zealand college brand and really that's what sets it apart from others. We're a Southern Hemisphere brand, not Northern Hemisphere or East Coast American. We're very much New Zealand culture. We've been in existence since 1904 and we have a strong rugby and sailing heritage behind us. Canterbury for 2011, going forwards, we started off uh, with Europe and we're now working with markets such as Australia, South Africa, India, Middle East, soon to be South America where we're starting up a joint venture, uh, which is a market we take very seriously. I think for 2011, 2012, the greatest potential lies in the markets such as South America um, going forwards. It's a very, very strong market with a look like ours. It also has strong rugby heritage. So that fits in very well with our market and we're looking forward to expanding there. I'd describe the working culture of our company as young. Nearly all the employees that we have are sub 28 years old and it's a very fun environment, it's a very youthful environment and we enjoy working together. We need everyone to pull together to make the brand strong. I admire most in the fashion business. To be really honest, I couldn't hear and now say anyone more than Heinz Muller because what he's done with bread and butter and the way he's taken the business forward in Europe has been very, very impressive for us. If I wasn't in fashion, I always thought I'd be a vet. I love looking after animals, but to be honest, if I wasn't in fashion, I'd love to be a photographer. The proudest moment in my career has been taking on the role as creative director for Canterbury. It's a role that I really love and enjoy and very proud to work with Clem and the team. And we feel this is just the beginning of the brand. If any living celebrities, not dead celebrities. Okay. <laughs> Oh God, any living celebrities in our advertising campaign? There we go, there's, there's, there's five of them and they can't get the answer. I haven't got a hope in hell. I'd rather say a dead person and looking at Steve McQueen behind you seems like a great, great role model. So if you, if you let me say a dead person, I go with Steve McQueen. <laughs>